In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a very unique slide called Locker Room Infographics. As you can see here, I've created four lockers of different colors and I've numbered them on the top and then I've created a exhaust grill along with the door knob and the keyhole. And when I click, the door will open and it will reveal the first option and the detailed text and then the second locker door will open the third and the fourth. So this is a very unique and creative slide and I hope you people love it. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide, go to insert, shapes, select a rectangle, draw a rectangle of any size. Later on we can increase or decrease and press Ctrl D to duplicate it and reduce the size by holding the shift key and give some different color and I'm just going to place on top of this let me just reduce size further by pressing the alt key so I got this shape then I'm going to recolor it to recolor let me just select the smaller rectangle right mouse click go to format shape and I'm going to select gradient fill and by default there are four stops let me just delete two and I'm going to select one stop and I'm going to select one darker color and another one uh, could be more darker color I can use it and whichever direction you want you can just change the for example let me just put it like this and then I'm going to give the same color for the back side also I can just move out a little bit and come here select this and give the gradient fill and make sure to give the shape outline also the same color darker color or you can just go and give more darker color here for example I will just come to the outline and more darker color to the outline for this also I'm going to give the same darker color and then I want to create the kind of a shelves for that I'm going to select the smaller one press ctrl D to duplicate it and I'm going to use two colors here which are a white color and one gray color and I'm going to put it here reduce the size further by holding the shift key and I'm going to give a shadow effect go to shadows and select the inner one and increase the distance you can see here and you can reduce the blur size and for this also you can make it maybe no outline or a white outline whatever let me just give some dark color outline only here you can put your the title and the text go to insert text box and I'm just going to type option 01 center align increase the size make it bold choose the right font maybe I'm just going to use the century gothic and I'm just going to put it here in the center and I'm going to add some detailed text again add some detailed text here again I'm going to use the same font which is century gothic reduce the size center align and if you want you can add some icons also so I'm just going to select this shape the title by holding the shift key and the text and press ctrl G to group it now let me work on the door I'm going to give some first I'm going to add some exhaust grill for that I'm going to select this press ctrl D to duplicate reduce the size smaller size you can see here and I'm going to give some darker shade on top you can see here and direction I can change like this let me just do like this so you can see can you see this one and I'm going to make it format shape outline no outline and press ctrl D you can see here the exhaust grill is ready 
just select all and make sure that it is aligned properly and press ctrl g to group it so i have made the grill ready and i'm going to make the the door handle and the locker key let me add the door knob or the door handle i will just zoom it go to insert shape select rectangle draw a rectangle maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline i'm going to use a gradient fill and i'm going to use three stops maybe i will start one is white one is uh, gray and one is again light gray color you can see here or i can use some dark color also here or i can make it more darker at the bottom also something like this you got it and then if you want you can make it a smaller rectangle on the top a very small let me just zoom in a little bit and give some dark color only shape outline make it no outline and control d and add it here also so you can see here the door knob or the handle is ready and I'm going to add three door hinges for that uh, let me just again zoom it I'm going to select one of this control C click outside control V and I'm going to rotate it reduce the size and put it here and make it more darker color you can see here and if you want you can make it somewhat lighter color at this one so you can just make three hinges that is one control d i will just drag it and put it here and one more at the bottom so three hinges i have added and if you want you can make a, a keyhole or whatever so uh, let it be uh, this one and before that i'm just going to add the locker room number zero one i'm going to use a font called impact increase the size put it on the top give a white color let me just reduce a little bit and then i'm going to select this door the whole whatever by using the mouse drag it over it on top and release it and press ctrl g to group it so you can see here the full door has been grouped now we are done with the design the only thing which i have to add uh, is the shadow effect for that i'm just going to select this particular uh, rectangle and go to effects shadow and give a offset center and color i'm going to use it dark color black and then you can reduce the blur size and you can reduce the size also and some transparency also okay and then i'm just going to select and keep it on top of it now let me just zoom it and align it properly just move a little bit this side and move a little bit up you can see here our design is ready so i'm just going to select this and i'm going to give animation for that i'm going to select animation tab go to animation pane add animation go to more exit effects and I'm going to say collapse and click OK and effect I'll just say to right. Now let's play the animation. You can see here the door opens and then you got the animation, uh, the text visible. Now if you want how many lockers, you can select all, press Ctrl D to duplicate it and put it next to each other. You can see here one, two, three and four. Now if I play, 
this one two three and four and later you can change the numbers and the colors also now if you want to change the text which is behind this door it's very simple uh, just go to the home tab select selection pane for example I want to change this one I'm going to select this door number two and just go down and just you can just uh, untake this then this is visible I'm going to make it two and then again put it back you can see here and then again like this I'll just drag uh, a scroll up click this one this will be three likewise you can do it simple way that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye